So you made a batch of killer pizza dough, but you made way too much. No big deal at all, just freeze the extra. There are a few simple steps you'll wanna take in order to get the best results from your frozen pizza dough. The first is to make sure you're freezing dough when it's ready to make pizza out of. So it's finished its fermentation schedule and it's to the point where you're ready to warm it up and actually make pizza. Freezing dough that hasn't finished its fermentation schedule isn't a great idea because it's gonna do some funky stuff to the yeast. It'll still work, but it's not ideal. When you're ready to freeze your dough, I like to use these Pyrex glass containers. I lightly grease the container with olive oil, then transfer in my dough ball. And then I'll just grease the top of the dough ball with a little extra olive oil. You could put it in the freezer just like that. However, for a little extra protection, you can add a little plastic wrap to the top as well. This will help protect it from freezer burn if you're planning on leaving it in there for more than like a month. Otherwise, it's probably not necessary. Then just toss it in your freezer just like that. It should be good in there for one to three months. The day before you plan on making pizza with your frozen dough, go ahead and take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge. Give it 24 hours in the fridge to completely defrost. From there, it's business as usual. Take the pizza out of the fridge an hour or so before you plan on making pizza with it so it can warm up. Then stretch, top, and bake like you would any normal pizza. The only downside to freezing dough is that the gluten structure does break down a little bit, so your crust might lose a little bit of spring and chew, but it's still gonna be super tasty and it's definitely a better idea than just throwing away extra dough balls. That's it, super simple. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video and I hope you hit that subscribe button. Love you lots.